Professor Osiom Abdumwekwete, welcome my viewers and students to this lesson on significant figures. In our last lesson, we looked at dry and wet action. I implore you to go and watch that video. And don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share this video. At the end of this class, I expect my students should be able to state the rules concerning significant figures and solve some problems on significant figures. What are significant figures? The number of digits in a measurement that contribute to the accuracy of that measurement are called significant figures. Significant figures are used to report a value measured or calculated to the correct number of decimal places or digits that will reflect the correct precision of that value. And, and in, in analytical chemistry, we use significant figures in reporting our values. What are the rules for significant figures? Rule number one states that all non-zero digits are significant. For example, if we have 1,128, in this 1,128, there is no zero digits here. So all these values are significant. So here we can say we have four significant figures. Rule number two says all zeros that are found between non-zero digits are significant. For example, if we have 2007, in 2007 we have two zeros. It says that these zeros are found between you know, non-zero digits. This is a non-zero digit, and this is another non-zero digit. So these zeros are significant. So in 2007, we have four significant figures. Rule number three says leading zeros to the left of a non-zero digit are not significant. For example, we have 0 0.0023. All these zeros here are leading zeros to the left. So all these zeros are not significant. So in this value, 0 0.0023, we have just two significant figures. The zeros are just what we call placeholders. Rule number four says, trailing zeros for a whole number with a decimal point are significant. For example, 32.00. 32.00 has two zeros. After the, uh, uh, after the decimal point. So all these values are significant. So in 32.00, we have four significant figures. And in 550, we have three significant figures. Rules for significant numbers continued. Turning zeros in a whole number with no decimal are not significant. It shows that if we have 320, there is no decimal in this value 320. So this zero, 320, is not significant. So in this number 320, we have just two significant figures. And such values will be written in what we call scientific notation, represented as A times 10 raised to power any value. That is why if we have a value 5,500, this value 5,500 can have two, three, four significant figures, depending on how it is written. If it is written as 5.5 .5 times 10 raised to power 3, it will have two significant figures because it's one and two. The position of the decimal, one value after the decimal, so it has two significant figures. If it is written at 5.50, we already know that it has two values after the decimal. 5.50 times 10 raised to the power 3, it will have three significant figures. 5.500, three values after the decimal. So this number 5.500 will have 
four significant figures. In a measured value, zeros that are on the right of the last zero digit of the measurement are significant. For example, if we have a value 2,450 inches, this zero is significant. So this value has, the whole of this value has four significant figures. We also have exact numbers that have infinite number of significant figures. This rule applies to numbers that are definitions. Like if we have one meter, it can be 1.00 meters, it can be 1.0000 meters, and it can be infinite numbers of zero meters. Rounding off of numbers and significant figures. If the last digit is less than five, round the previous digit down. However, if it is five or more, you should run the previous digit up. So if the numbers we are about to round is followed by five, six, seven, eight, nine, we'll run the number up. And if it is followed by zero, one, two, three, four, we'll run the number down. Consider the number 5.8162. This number here, and we are told to run it to the nearest 10. The nearest 10 is 5 and 8. In this number, 5.816 to nearest 10 is 5 and 8. The next value here is 1. Because 8 is followed by 1, and 1 is less than 5, this number will be rounded as 5.8. That will be the answer, 5.8. This same value, number 5.8162, they say round it up to the nearest 100. The nearest 100 here is 5.81. But we know that this 6 is more than 5. So will we round it up? So we take this 6 now representing one value to 1 here, and the answer will become 5.82. If we have 5.816 to round it up to the nearest thousand, this value nearest thousand here, 5.8162. It will be 5.816 because this two is less than five. We will discard it. Rounding up quantities to the correct number of significant figures, we approximate the last figure to be retained upward by one if the next figure is equal or greater than five. For example, round up the following numbers to four significant figures. They are saying 0 0.16546666555. This value here, they say we should run all to four significant figures. We remain, always remember that this is zero to the left. So four significant figures will start from here. One, two, three, four. Then we'll have this value here that is six. So we'll round it up both by one. So one added to four will become five. So this will now be 0 0.1655. That is the correct answer. We we'll have here again 0 0.125776666 to four significant figures. Remember, one, two, three, four. But remember that this value here is seven, and seven is greater than five. Rounding it up by one becomes eight. So our value will become 0 0.1258. Then we we'll have here 0 0.2344321111. Four significant figures, one, two, three, four. This fifth value here is less than five. So we will end our answer here. So it becomes 0 0.2344. How many significant figures are present in these quantities? 1.2680 gram and 1.062 gram. We we'll have here all values are significant. All these values. So 1.2680 we have five significant figures. 
1.062 will have four significant figures. How many significant figures are in the following quantities? 0 0.0164 gram, 0 0.164 gram, 16.4 gram, and 0 0.0350 gram. I know that you already have your answer. I believe that you are following. If you are following, you should have been able to attempt this one by now. Then let's continue. 0 0.0164 gram. As I said, these two zeros are to the left. So they are not significant. So in this value here, we have three significant figures. 0 0.164 here to this another zero is not significant. So this value will give us three significant figures. 16.4 will give us three significant figures. 0 0.0350. These are zeros from the left. They are not significant. So this value will have three significant figures. 13 times 10 raised to the power minus 4 will give us two significant figures. And 13 times 10 raised to the power 4 will give us two significant figures because if you put all the 0, 0, 0, 0 into 4 here, there is no decimal before them. So they are not significant. Only significant value is 1 and 3. So this value here has two significant figures. Assignments. I should round up the following values to three significant figures. 0 0.01356, 1243, 5625. And then tell us how many significant figures are in the following numbers 650.00, 2000, 200 cm, 2004 and 50 inches, 0 0.0092407, 4.693, and 0 0.023. I hope you enjoyed this class. I'm so excited. I thank those of you that have watch this video to the end. In our next class, we are going to be considering addition and subtraction and multiplication and division of significant figures. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share this video. Thank you very much.